William Roach has played Ken Barlow in Coronation Street since its first episode. The 86-year-old British actor has played Ken Barlow in Coronation Street since its first episode in December 1960. Not a lot of people know this but I'm very good at simplifying things. I like to get down to the core and the heart of the matter. It might be because I'm mentally lazy so don't like dealing with too much detail. My nickname is probably my character in Coronation Street's name, Ken. A lot of people use it and I'll respond to it, but other than that I don't really have one as such. William is my professional name but my family call me Bill. The bravest thing I've ever done is probably standing up for injustice, which I've done from time to time. You have to stand up for what you think is right and I can and will do that. My favorite TV show tends to be the current thing I'm watching. I love the Durrells and the woman in white was great. My perfect evening would be a quiet dinner with a couple of good friends in a nice Italian restaurant. I can't be doing with loud places, my hearing isn't too good so I don't like a lot of background noise. I'd like to say sorry to my first wife, Anna, for my behavior back then, because of course she's gone now. That would be the main one. My first kiss was when I was about 18. I came home on leave from the army and went out dancing with my father's young assistant, who was not much older than me. I had a girlfriend but I was dancing with her and suddenly kissed her. I had no intentions of unfaithfulness but I was just overwhelmed in the moment. I can still remember the emotion of that clearly. I felt terrible but I think she realized I was a bit gauche and didn't know what I was doing. The one thing I'd change about myself is to be more loving, more caring and help more for world peace. They're quite high ideals but that's what I'd like to move towards. The best things my parents taught me were kindness and consideration. The last time I cried was probably last time I saw an act of bravery by a member of the public. I cry very easily. When we saw Grey Friars Bobby I was beside myself and when the lights came up, I had to pretend I'd lost something under the seats. The first record I ever bought was by Al Jolson, I'm That Old. I was mad on his records and used to buy the old 78s. We had a gramophone in the drawing room and I would pick my moments to listen and be on my own. It's not good for my image but I like sending people up. Not cruelly, though, I'm a giggler. My greatest weakness is bread. I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes but got rid of it by ruthlessly cutting out sugar. Carbohydrates like bread and cake make sugar, but they're my one love. Even now, I have a beautiful loaf sitting at home, but the doctor says I can only have one piece a day. It's so cruel, my favorite meal was afternoon tea. If I could pass any law I would make it compulsory to perform one act of kindness every day. The shop I can't walk past is a golf shop. I like looking at different putters and clubs. I used to love DIY and would get very excited about chisels and hacksaws. Not so much now, though. The most expensive thing I've ever splashed out on was in Scotland with my late wife, Sarah. We stayed at a beautiful old castle packed with antiques. On the menu was a beautiful bottle of Margaux wine for £100. Now, I'm talking a long time ago, it was a lot of money. But the place was so beautiful, we decided we would go for it and it was great. It made the moment and I still remember it, so it was worth every penny. In a film I would be played by my sons, who are both actors. Will, who goes by James, his middle name professionally, played me in the road to Coronation Street. Linus is 22 years older than him so it could be both of them together. The worst job I've done, was probably a commercial I made where the director was telling me every tiny detail of what to do, giving me inflections to work on. You don't do that. It got me all tied up so I could hardly do it. 
I think he was enjoying being a director, but didn't have much experience. My perfect Sunday. Would have absolutely nothing planned. A total blank with the freedom to do whatever I wanted. My favourite place in Britain is. Abyssosh in North Wales. We had a house there for quite a while. Snowdon was in the distance, Cardigan Bay nearby. It is beautiful and a sun trap, even in the winter. My last holiday was to the Thirlstone Hotel in South Devon, a four-star hotel overlooking Durdle Door, with its own little three-par golf course. We had a gorgeous time there and took afternoon tea outside in the sun. I'm currently reading. Nothing. When I was last reading, it was mainly biographies, self-help books and books about life beyond. I meditate and talk but feel I don't need the reading. The best days of my life were. The births of my children. It's such a miraculous experience to witness that. It makes you understand how brave and valiant women are. I was absolutely overwhelmed each time equally. If I had half an hour left on earth I'd. Pray. I know there is an afterlife, so I wouldn't be too worried. I'd actually be looking forward to it.